Visco. Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you the functions available in Hide Central Access Control mobile client. We need to create a Hide Central Access Control server first. Then we also want to make sure that our phone and PC are in the same local area network. At here, we can key in the server. Okay, as we can see, there are two accounts that we can log into. First is manage, the second one is self-service. So now we are going to look at manage account first. Alright, first we are going to look at the monitoring tab. At here, we can see the device that we have added in the server. The device that I have added is DS-K1T324MFX. It is a face access terminal. If I tap on open here, it will unlock the door remotely. If I tap on the icon at the middle, it will keep the door unlocked. And if I tap on the icon on the right side, it will keep the door locked. Let's tap on the door icon. So on the left side, we have this icon. If we tap on it, we can see if someone is trying to access this terminal. Alright, now we are going to look at person tab. At here, we can add person to the server. But keep in mind that we cannot see the existing person in the server. And we also cannot add fingerprint and card to the server. So if we want to add fingerprint and card, we need to go to High Central Access Control Web Client to do that. So at here we can add our picture here. At here we can put our ID. In order to select department, we need to create a department in High Central Access Control Web Client first. And we also can set the effective period for this employee and I click save this person is added in alarm tab we can receive the notification from the terminal and in me tab we can check our account information we also can check the pictures that we have taken in settings for this function, open door via Bluetooth, this is only for the terminal that can support Bluetooth. Alright, if we tap on more, we can see more functions here. So let's look at search. At here, we can search for the access record. So we can search by person or search by card number. So for the result, we can select either access granted or access denied. I'm going to select denied. So the type, there are many types. You can select according to your liking. So we can also set the time period that we want to search for. We can select from the list or we can also customize the time period. So I'm going to select today, you also can select the temperature status and wearing mask or not. Then we can type on search to get the result. Lastly, we also have health monitoring function here. So if we go into it, we can check the health status of our terminal. As you can see, there is one abnormal. If I tap into it, it is telling me that 485 is offline. So I know what is the abnormality. Now, we are going to look at self-service account. In order to access to this account, we need to create a person at Hide Central Access Control web client first. And we need to enable allow login to self-service option. At home page, we can check our attendance record. So at the top area, we can see that there is a big key icon. This is for the manually open door function. So we tap on it. If the terminal is supporting Bluetooth, a door function will be shown here. 
Alright, next we are going to look at apply tab. At here, the employee can apply for leave, attendance correction, overtime, attendance correction. The employee will need to apply for attendance correction in case the attendance record is not matching with the actual attendance. The applications can be approved through the Manage account in High Central Access Control web client. Next, we have Me tab. At here, we can check the account status as well. In this video, I show you the functions available in Manage and Self-Service account. I hope you learned something today. Thank you.